Do you really have high blood pressure? Well, according to a Johns Hopkins medicine study, mistakes in taking your blood pressure in your physician's office may be responsible for overprescribing blood pressure medications to patients that do not really have high blood pressure. Now, they looked at arm position during blood pressure measurement and found that there are big differences between using the correct way of having your arm comfortably at the level of your heart versus arm by your side or on your lap. Now, the mistakes include taking a blood pressure with a full bladder, not allowing 10 minutes, sitting quietly, exercising or drinking caffeine within one hour prior to measurement, crossing your legs and talking during the measurements, as well, of course, the uh, issue of white coat hypertension in the office, right? Also keep in mind that the American Heart Association has in recent years lowered the upper limit to 130 over 80, while the American Academy of Family Physicians continues to use 140 over 90 as the upper limit. So the best way to find out if your blood pressure is indeed elevated is to take it at home at various times during the day, sitting comfortably and avoiding the mistakes I mentioned earlier. And if it 